and welcome to this week's How To video with the two green shoots. As voted by you, you voted for how to grow your own plant food and today we'll be talking about that exactly. Okay, so why do we want to make our own plant food? Well, there's a few good reasons. The first one is it's free. The second one is it's tailor-made to what you or your plants need. And the third one is you'll never run out once you know how to make your own. We're going to be talking about two main plants that you can use for your own feed today to make your own. And the first one are nettles. Now everyone pretty much has nettles. Uh, we didn't have them until we had a load of manure delivered and we were delighted to have these nettles. Now they're very rich in minerals and they're very much known for nitrogen. They're very high in nitrogen which we need for leafy growth. Now making your own couldn't be simpler. I've got a bucket and you need some good gloves. And all we are doing is picking off the nettles and we are stuffing them in the bucket. So that's all we're doing, we're just picking them off, stuffing them in the bucket. Now you can use other plants to make your own liquid feed. Now I've heard of bracken being used and young dock leaves, but we only stick to two, this is what we do. So that is nettles. Okay, so the next step is once you've filled your bucket with nettles, is you want to now fill it with water. Now it's filled, we're gonna submerge them. We want them to stay submerged so they rot down. And you'll know when they're rotten because they'll absolutely reek. Now, don't get it under your skin because you'll smell for about two days. And don't put it near the house because no one will want you or the bucket near the house. So, submerge the nettles. And we're gonna be waiting for about two to four weeks, really. And um, like I said, when it goes a darker color, like a sort of brownish color, you know it's ready and that smell. Now, now it's all filled, remember what I was saying? Put it as far away from the house as you possibly can, somewhere in the corner away where it can just break down and fester for a good few weeks. Okay, so the next plant we use a lot for our homemade feeds is comfrey. This one's called Bocking 14. It is sterile, so it will not seed everywhere. But this is the one we use the most, and it is very high in potash, which is good for fruit and flower formation. And the good thing about comfrey is its roots go down quite a few meters down into the ground, actually. They penetrate the subsoil there and other layers that roots of trees and shrubs cannot get to. And what this plant does, it brings it up into its leaves, these sort of furry, rough like leaves and then it brings it to leaves and when that leaf breaks down it releases its food and we're literally doing that the same as what we've done with the nettle feed we're stuffing them into a bucket and we're forcing those leaves to decompose and release those important nutrients and the other good thing about comfrey is the flowers are loved by bees now we can get about four to five crops of comfrey cut comfrey throughout the growing season so it's a really good plant and if you can source it definitely invest in it. Now the final nutrient uh, was phosphorus and that one is good for root formation. Now the tricky thing is with phosphorus is it's not found very easily and the best way you can do this is human urine. It sounds a bit bizarre but it is one of the best sources of phosphorus and um, I wouldn't pee on your salad crops, I'd save it for your fruit trees. Okay, so now your feed's ready, you've bottled it up like we have here, um, a few months old. And this is now how to apply this food. Now it is one part nettle feed to 10 parts water. That is just a general recommended dose for what we use. Better to underfeed than overfeed. And you can do it by obviously watering it onto your plants, or you can do it the spraying, but this is how we water onto the plants. Okay, so we have our plant food, and next stage is how do we apply it? There's two main ways. They're very much the same, they're both quick acting. The first one is liquid feed straight to the roots, which is just watering your plants. Best time to do it is in the morning. Always water it in the morning, not the evening. And literally just watering the plant. Around it goes. 
let that soak through and that's the job done and the next one is foliar feed now the difference is both fast acting straight to the plant this is more economical so you'll get a lot more from a little amount so you're just spraying it onto the leaves and again do this first thing in the morning and um, you want to be doing this every two weeks so and hopefully after the, a good couple of doses you should see a change in your plants and a much healthier plant so the reason we know this always needs nitrogen is the fact if you look at the leaf it's yellowing on the outside of the veins now that is a nitrogen deficiency so this is what you want to be looking out for certain plants at this time of the year this is when they'll need this nitrogen boost okay the next thing is obviously potassium now a potassium deficiency is usually when the flowers or the fruit do not form properly they just drop off well before their time now usually figs drop off their little figlets the little tiny ones um, sort of late winter time but these were forming you see these are the ones that were forming and then another one's just dropped off look they're not holding and it's more likely to be a potassium deficiency so you really need to be feeding these figs they don't eat much if you feed them the flowers and the fruit should form properly which is what we encourage with potassium flower and fruit formation okay so now timing is critical with plant food so obviously tomatoes will be producing fruit flowers very soon you want to be switching to your country feed uh, but you can combine both of them to get an all-round, so you could make the comfrey and a nettle feed for a good all-round boost, which covers all bases, basically. Now, you have to remember, the key to all healthy plants starts with a healthy soil. And how you get that healthy soil, remember, is how you add lots of organic matter, like compost, well-rotten manure. It's all about the soil, lots of worms, lots of activity, lots of life means a healthy plant. And you just have to remember that liquid feeds are a supplement to the plant. They just add them a little bit of a boost. So we do hope you've enjoyed this week's how-to video. And any questions, give us an email and enjoy your garden.